Hey folks, Spartan back. Um, I wanted to post a video about the uh, seals.jp game the other day, but uh, we didn't have enough time to kind of coordinate things, so I'll try to get things coordinated for the next time I go to the seals game field, which is a survival game field uh, in Japan. Uh, so that's kind of my update for um, the whole Japanese airsoft scene. It's, it's really, really well organized. It's one thing I really got to say. Also, I guess you might have noticed is that what I'm wearing is a little bit different than the average multicam here. Uh, one of the reasons is multicam, while it is a very strong camouflage, it's very green here. Like, really, really green here. Like, multicam is, I, I guess I could say it's almost too bright. I guess you could say. It's a little too tan, a little too brown. You know, there's a lot more uh, types of terrain like that in the States, which is probably one of the reasons why it was created in Afghanistan. But here in Japan, it's really green, so you know what camera works the best? OD green. BDU uh, works pretty well too, so this is actually kind of what I'm probably going to be running with uh, in the future here in Japan. So that's kind of my speed on the whole Japanese airsoft scene. Uh, secondly, we're going to go on to our next Slayer tip of the day. Alright, so one thing I've been working on, it's kind of my weakness, was shooting left-handed. I'm going to say it, I've been killed playing airsoft games because I wasn't very good at shooting the left hand. So that's one of the things I've been working on. And, uh, and it's one of those things where you come to a corner and you just want to you know, transition to your left side. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen the Magpul videos, but they kind of do this thing where I, I like to kind of slide my hand up along the, the weapon until it reaches the fore grip and then bring this hand back to uh, your firing hand, your fire control. I actually uh, found it really comfortable, as long as I have a stock, to um, actually keep this thumb on this side of the, uh, the grip, instead of putting it on this side, because on an M16, your average M4, there's no selector on this side, so, like, I don't know if you've seen Travis Haley, the way he shoots, is, he'll be right-handed, he'll bring this hand up, and he'll bring this hand back, and I like to keep contact with the weapon all the way in the back, so it keeps that, that pressure, so uh, the weapon just falls to the ground, you know, just keeps constant uh, pressure on the weapon against your body. And I'll just slide my hand back, and once I maintain fire control again, you know, I'll start continuing doing what I'm doing. But I've actually found it quite comfortable there to have my thumb right here and just shoot like this. And then once I come back to the right hand corner, I'll just bring it back like that. So that's today's tip. And one, one of the ways you can achieve that, if you're weak on your, your off hand or your left hand or whatnot, is just, you know, just practice. Just pick up, like uh, tell yourself to, uh, pick up your airsoft weapon uh, and use it just with your offside for like the whole day. And by the end of the day, you'll get actually a lot more familiar with it just by sighting it up, reloads, you know, and operational type stuff. Now, that brings us to our, our last uh, portion of today's video, and uh, that is our shout out. And it's a little overdue, so uh, I want to give the shout out uh, to uh, rainbowops.com. This is actually a uh, one of their uh, videos here. But uh, RainbowOps.com is um, a video group, uh, they're an airsoft group that's actually uh, have, uh, I think, I believe, prior service. I don't know if he's, he's still in the service, but I think he's a prior service. And they have a very uh, good airsoft team. Uh, so, you know, check out their videos and stuff. And, um, that is uh, today's video. I'll hopefully be getting more videos about the Japanese uh, airsoft scene. So you know, I'll look forward to seeing uh, your comments online. Just don't, you know, just keep it, you know, keep it simple and uh, don't, you know, be a douche about it. Because uh, I'm very uh, trigger happy on that ban delete button. So uh, you know, make sure you know, just don't be a douche. All right, and you know, your comments will be up there. So. And uh, thank you for watching today's video. Stay tuned. Hopefully next week I'll have something about the uh, Japanese airsoft scene. But uh, it's Wong out.